Hey there everyone, Zare here. And Lit! And welcome back to Super Paper Mario! It's been 84 years! A little less than that. <laughs> so we're back in the outskirts of Flipside. Mm-hmm. Because we got some of these. Remember we got pretty, uh, turned around last time. Uh, uh, yes, by design, at least. Mm -hmm. The absurdly long sequences that you go back to town to learn. Yes. Okay. Switch back there. Also, we're switch here. Yes! Something seems to be wrong with Timpani! I mean, oh, excuse me, Timpy. Because <laughs> I totally don't understand the connection at all! Flipside, pit of 100 trials. Danger, do not enter. Flipside City Hall. <laughs> okay, I'ma go in it. Just to make sure, this is the entrance to a dangerous dungeon called the Pit of 100 Trials. Once you enter, it's not easy to leave. You want to go in? Mm-hmm. Fortunately, I do have to. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Alright, so here's the Pit of 100 Trials. Uh, okay! We've got a very, uh, Game & Watch aesthetic. I probably should have healed up before coming in here. Oh well. It's a fun! We also have a time limit. Oh! We need to go around and destroy enemies that we find down here. We don't have to destroy all of them, we just have to destroy a secret one. Get the key. No, not what I want. There we go. That thing in the background reminds me of the uh, cogwheel thing that we rode on in the Zelda game. Hmm. What was it called? Oh, the spinner? Yeah, the spinner! Looks like the spinner! Well, what if I told you there was a secret to the background? The color coding is kind of giving me a vibe that it's maybe something you want to pay attention to. Two castles in opposition. One dark, one light. Big ol' heart between them. Is it just me or is the hearts in the heart getting, um, changing? Um... Oh, There's two now in that one. I think they stay the same. Let's take us to the other side. <laughs> So each of our heroes does have things that they can leverage to their advantage here. Peach is defensive with her umbrella. Careful. And has good movement. Bowser has some range and some great attack, though this early on the attack is wasted. And Mario can flip in times of need. Could also be defensive there. Or... Find shortcuts. Thank you. 
You can, of course, capitalize on all of the enemies around to generate points. I'm more interested in just getting to the end. What? Shenanigans. Shoot. I may as well take that. That's one HP. I'm nowhere near skilled enough to pull it off, but the speedrun's rather amazing of this. They just home in on the correct enemy each time. We got a tippy card! Greetings! Name's Flim! Freelance sales freak! Owner and proprietor of this shirt! Sell anything! Sell to anyone! Sell big! Sell off! And sell now! So, look, then buy! Buy now! Things are at a bit of a premium here. But hey, if you need it, they're here. And they're random. So, you want nothing? Color me fluster. Well, inventory changes like that. Yeah, that quick. Don't come back soon. Now things get harder. Spike Goombas. It's weird seeing new variants of standard Goombas this late in. The Dodonga likes. That explains the rocks. That. 
I guess they do kind of have that 90 sprinkles vibe. Yeah. <laughs> have you had your breakfast? Considering it's evening where we're at, I hope you have broken your fast. Here's the door. I do like how uh, the background has all these faded spots for uh, the different uh, LCD elements like doors and bricks. You can look at all the white space. Uh. Really showing the aesthetic. And then it vanishes into it. Oh, good. Coop Patrol. That's gonna take a bit. Fifth of the way there. And we got a throw card. Uh, that's just not too unreasonable. It's a block block! Not to be confused with a solid block, hard block, or just a block. This is a block. And that's right, it goes in the square hole. <laughs> uh, briefly makes you invincible. Eh. One HP for two <laughs> coins. <laughs> this is less return on your investment, but it's better on your storage space. Unfortunately, I saw that I was simultaneously streaming and recording, and that was not something I want. But I chose the wrong time to investigate that.
Oh dear. Shroom trait. Shroom shake now before we forget. <laughs> it was so squishy. <laughs> Explosive level up. smoke making me go the long way around to get this key. There's a bit, but carry does not stop. Oh hey, it's a chomp. That's a problem. Daisy right out the gate. I'm just gonna take the wrong. Oh, uh, background. Ah, changed. Every twenty five, twenty five floors, we're gonna get a new background. Great poignant one. You will recall, this is the first boss. Oh. I guess there are some other enemies that technically qualify, but chapter end boss. So cute the way he's jealously holding it. Oh, 
because I completely flew past it. Oh, good. Hammer Bros. for a sec. I guess since it was held by a Koopa and the shell they spawned, they just dropped the key. It coincidentally was next to the door, I'm not sure if that's a guarantee. Boomer card. d with this area they make it all out to be an lcd display but the actual highlighted parts are ever so slightly pulled out in a way from the background i can't do anything about you please move Terrifying creatures. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> You'd hate to touch one of those and be sent out of the dungeon. I think those ones are just the poison ones, but you know they've got that trap stowed away somewhere. 
<laughs> He's so disturbed by the explosion. Big eyes. Then it's going to multiply endlessly. Uh, there should be a cap. Nintendo tends to not like having their games crash. of embarrassment. It was off screen, it's not my problem. <laughs> Lovely ninjas. Leave me alone. They're attacking through the walls now! Hexagons are unwelcome. Fire, bros. At least you can't get me from up high. You are slightly more problem. Uh oh. I just completely did not register that thing existed. So good job on the camouflage, I guess, you green brick. Or Florty! We got a slim card. And no shock. Hey, it's a clever. 
Soccer Koopas! Ah. You okay there? <laughs> How'd that work out for you? It's like, stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Ooh, I'll take that. That does appear at the door. Ooh, a new squink. Oh, 
Okay, you get. Door, get. Halfway there. And we got our Thudley card. They keep coming. Getting worried that there's a lack of you. Oh, we've got a background change now. The second end of chapter boss. Mer lovely. No, it's just your magic. <laughs> Worth remembering, the uh, dragon was built by the ancients. And was intended to give us some help if it weren't for that middlesome dementia. just run through fire like that, pig. Spanias. Oh no, dry bones. Not sure if that carries over to this game, but they usually need a little more incentive to stay dead. Bombs will work. When in doubt, blow it up.
We're finding space monsters now. Well, I already have the key for this floor. I don't like this room. Ah, ten damage. Let me out of here! <laughs> Freedom! Of course they saved all the nasty stuff for the end. Why wouldn't they? Why would it be easy now? Hey, full heal. Good timing. Bad timing on your part. I didn't want another enemy. Terry! I realized they were spoon boxes, but not that they were. 
microphones too. Leave me alone! Go. Oh, I guess there was a slow one left. I'm multiplying. seen these things. Come on, you need to just get over here. Oh, 
What? Hammers. Take care of each other. Just have to wait for this room to solve itself. <laughs> should probably be a little more defensive moving forward because we just got through room 70 and we found the fleet card and we also found you don't worry about that uh, none of these heal me well that might heal me but I don't want it By which I mean exceptionally well placed. More big dragons. That was easy. Be getting a background change soon. Two rooms. This whole other three quarters of the room that we don't have to deal with. Yeah. Seventy. The rough puffs are back. Ugh. I want to be peach in case I get caught like that again. Oh, my God. 
background time. The very pixelated castle. Not unlike the one a certain high technical individual had. Quarter. Oh, they shattered. In case it's just a room we don't want to deal with. By which I mean a screen. That looks like a floating washing machine. them all down. So you know they're all on the bottom now. Fudge! Please get healing. Um, 
next level is 20,000 away. Okay, let's get that down the hatch then. Oh good, pigs. Well, we can at least handle you safely. Many, many coins. Finally, the shadows had yes. a key. Couldn't ignore them forever. What was that sound? Well, at least we have no FP for the flower fuzzies to take from us. Yeah, I'm just gonna not deal with any of that. Thank you. Oh no, the pieces are bouncing. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah. Get me out of here. <sighs> Just smack dab in a whole bunch of ninjas. <laughs> They're terrifying. What do you call these? Uh, eh, I guess that's kind of what they're known for I now. Bonk. Only one HP. They're outcasts. Brainless, uncultured thugs. Never wanted to get close enough to have a conversation with one. Ah, it's a lot. Could rack up some points with that, but I'm not here for points. Room 90. Dotty card. Last shot. I would like some insurance, thank you. Try not to carry your entire house. Um, Still walking out of this with a profit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Got some reach on him. ninjas. Back over here. New color ninja. Let me out. <laughs> Not more ninjas. You're here forever. Let's 
convenient. Not as useful as advertised. Six. Just a single little pig. <laughs> Followed by chomps in room ninety eight. <laughs> That's as many as there are in Luftballon. Floor 100!
The ancients locked me in this wretched place. I am the wrathful god, Racktail. Why did you wake me from the sweet peace of slumber? I will punish you with death. Soon you will understand the wrath of the gods. Welcome back to the first boss. Landed on your nose, sir. <laughs> Lord of the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Max HP is... I don't know. Attack is 10. It can fly and swoop down with its with its big open mouth. I think this is a prototype of an improved fractale from the old from, from the old desert. The ancients must have built it. But like fractale, its antennae is its weak spot. I know they have attacks. It could be worse. The end of the Pit of a Hundred Trials boss could actually be threatening. Which, you know, means you'd have to go through the whole Hundred Trials again. Oh, 
You have not yet won! I am not the only monster created by the ancients! Greater terrors await you in the flop side pit of 100 trials! Turns back into bones! Which is weird for a robot. Your minions were a bigger threat than you. <laughs> Eight damage per shot, jeez. Whoa, you defeated that monster of a dragon? Really? Crazy, that's crazy. Yep. And you were able to clear those 99 other rooms. Boy, wow, just wow, seriously. I'm stunned, absolutely incredible. Here, for you, clap, 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 clap. Right as that was, though, I've got to warn you. Stay on your toes on for what's ahead. Listen up and listen good. You must treasure life. Got you, got you, got you. You've absolutely got you. Absolutely, absolutely got you. Yeah. I mean, don't you think so? I'm sure you agree with me. All right, then, gravy. Fate for us both here. And so I will lend you my power. We got the speedy pixel named Dashel. Hey! The Dash and Shuffle and you'll be able to dodge the physics attacks! Can I tell you that's how I survived the mini battle? Yep, fleeing, it works. Mm. Trust in my power and you can run away to a more peaceful world! We go soon! It is a small speed boost, all things considered. <laughs> Still, you get more control than when you're on a uh, carry. Okay, uh, let's head back. I need the important things. Under the looming shadow of the void, the world slowly drifted toward demise. But not all hope was lost. Two pure hearts had yet to be found. Could our daring heroes find them? Or was the world doomed to be devoured? Doomed. Mario, Peach, and Bowser ventured through the door. Mario, Peach, and Bowser ventured through the next door to find out. Chapter 6 1 Summer Guy Showdown. A big void, but very pretty town. Look at that. The void. It's enormous here. Much bigger than it is in Flipside. This dimension must be very close to destruction. We better hurry. You have a pure heart to find. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ei, unde am Ok, I'm gonna get out of here. Because <laughs> I did want to heal and I did want to save. I did not mean to open that door. Very satisfying. Pada, 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 pada. Running out of doors and colors. All right, let's begin this chapter properly. To King Samer's palace. Shamed. Ah, so you run, coward. You disgrace your family's honor. Another unworthy opponent. When will this hero of legend appear? Time is running out, and still he refuses to show his face. You stop now! You wear the clothes of a crazy... You must be if you mean to challenge me. A challenge always a tibier. Miss Peach. A challenger? What do you mean? Aha! So it begins, challenger. I am known as Jade Blooper, guardian of the first gate. Prepare for game over. Hacha! Round one. <laughs> she looks fight. so surprised. It's like, oh dear. Well, if it's his ass whooping, I must hand out! No more, I beg you! Your power is great, Challenger! Your skills are impressive. So the hero of legend has finally revealed himself. You may go to the next gate. The hero of legend knows no gender. What next gate? What's going on here? Oh, splendid! Oh, what a performance! And what exotic garb you drape yourself in, Challenger! Interesting. The spider lily there. What a rousing spectacle of martial artistry! Beach. Okay. Oh, goodbye. Thank you. I don't think I caught your name. At least with the characters present, if it's not a rainbow border, it will be Peach. Oh, okay. Insolence! Show respect, dog! You stand before King Samar, ruler of the Samar guys! <laughs> your unusual fighting style brings me amusement to no end. As reward for your victory, I shall allow a glimpse of my treasure. Behold! Oh, a 
pure heart. Indeed, it is the pride of the kingdom. If you desire it, prove your worth by defeating my loyal vassals in a tournament. Your vassals, King Sammer? Yes, we just left the pit of under trials, and we've got another combat <laughs> tournament to deal with. Yay! In our kingdom, there is a legend that has been passed down through generations. When a great hole appears in the sky, the world will soon be devoured. The tempest in the sky grows larger by the day. It must be stopped. But the legend goes on. And so I shall continue a very dramatic reading. <clears throat> Only one thing can stop the void. The great hero must be given the pure heart. Vassals, to me! Whoa! That's a lot. Ha-cha! Hey, Sammer! 100 strong! These are my vassals. Should you beat them all, you will prove you are the true hero. Yes, I shall reward you with a pure heart if you best my other 99 Sammer guys. Be gone, Sammer guys, and move to your tournament positions. I'm sure I'll be on the edge of my throne throughout this thrilling tournament. I will await your arrival at the palace. The tournament has begun. Let skill decide. So, the king will give us a pure heart if we beat the other 99 samurai gods. Better get started. You have a lot of fighting to do. I thirst for violence! Thought you were gonna go with blood. <laughs> I see you! Look upon Hill with eyes, Keeper of the Second Gate! So, each of these characters has a name, and they are all references to Mario's history. Okay! So, particularly in Super Mario World, you'll notice that a bunch of the really uh, pill-like hills have eyes on them. <laughs> you run along the earth, attacking immobile blocks, and I see you! You leap above deep pits, dodging wandering beasts, and I watch you! Soon you will fall in battle by my merciless hand, and I laugh at you! Oh, right in the eye! You did not wither beneath my cold, unflinching stare! And so I am defeated. But defeat and victory are equally meaningless to one such as I. I will remain in the distance, waiting without remorse, and always watching! Alright. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all of the history tidbits, but I will start up where I can. Alright. An opponent blows in. My name floats like an ill wind, for I am Puffing Fist, guardian <laughs> of the third gate. I can send the mightiest opponent to his doom with a single strike. Pwong! Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, this could be a couple of things. There is the Porky Puffer, which is a puffer fish. Uh, there's also some cloud slash wind like enemies, uh, bosses in a uh, Yoshi story. <laughs> No! It is you who has dealt the pwonging! Uh. I have failed the ancient pwong traditions! My strike slack, puff. I must go and train at the Cloud Temple. I will use my remaining vacation days. That's leading towards a sky enemy of some sort. Soon, Challenger, you will scream in terror at the name of the Flightless Bird! For I am Squatting Birdo, ever-hunkering guardian of the Fourth Gate. 
Now you will know the fury of the most deadly fighting style. Birdo Squat! I don't think I need to explain Birdo at this point. You also have a ninja. The egg of my defeat burns hot on my face. I bow to your skill. Birdo be with you, challenger. Incidentally, I have a hundred of these. If you ever want to chirp up, chime in. <laughs> By all means. Tell me, challenger. Have you ever tried to catch a jumping fish with your bare hands? You will know the frustration soon, for I am Leaping Cheap, Keeper of the Fifth Gate. The Cheap Cheap soars in the air and strikes his prey like a fishy tsunami. Ah, hmm. uh, Cheap Cheeps are the standard Mario fish enemies. Yeah. And also in the first one, they were known for uh, launching themselves in the uh, high up stages. Ooh. But that's so cheap! Your skill is strong! If only my flying fishy friends had leapt to my aid when I called out for them! <laughs> Before we must fight, consider this haiku. <laughs> A challenger comes, under the darkening sky. Wiggity wiggle. Wiggle. Master Wiggler wiggles in defense of the sixth gate. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ah, uh, so Wiggler are the caterpillar-like enemies with the flowers on their heads. They're known for getting rather angry when you stomp on them. Wiggler! Before you leave, contemplate this haiku. The challenger came. Now my face wiggles in pain. Wiggle, wiggle, wake. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle on, warrior. Wiggle on. I prefer to float, but all right. Stompow! I am Shu of Karibo. I protect the seventh gate. Stompow! Some try to tiptoe past me like little fancy slippers. I stomp them. Stomp out! Oh. Shu stomps all. Stomp out! Shu of Karibo will tread on you. Stomp out! Okay, so Shu of Karibo. Karibo is the Japanese name for a Goomba. And in one stage of Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, they had a little shoe that they would hop around on. If you defeated a Goomba, you could ride around in that shoe and it would help you navigate spiked enemies and also was a nifty new way to control Mario for one stage. Oh. Okay. But, uh, there was some funny business going on with the localization of Super Mario Brothers 3. Mm -hmm. So we got things like, uh, Karibo's shoe, which should have been a Goomba's shoe. Uh, I think there was the Jukem Cloud which was a Lakitu cloud, and other such names where they failed to translate item names based on the enemies. Stomp Pow! I am stomped! You crush out my Stomp Pow! You boot shoe! Stomp Pow! Fry now! I am Guy Who Fry, master of dripping magma punch, guard of the eighth gate. I see your eyes burn with purpose. Will I torch you today? Or will your burning desire to win extinguish me? I say, you fry now! So Fry Guy was a boss in Super Mario Brothers 4, or 4, 2. He was the fourth stage boss. He's a very large flame with a face. You beat him by throwing blocks at him, and then you'd eventually break up into smaller pieces, which you would extinguish with the blocks. It is I who fry today! I am like a sad pail of discarded grease. 
Go now and fry Samurgai's in memory of Guy Who Fry. Feeling you're fuzzy related, aren't you? <clears throat> yes! The shrill shriek of the screaming mantis paralyzes you at gate nine. You are motionless with fear. Now I prey on your face. Yes! This one I'm at a bit of a loss for. Maybe it's a reference to a Super Mario Land enemy? Because they did have some insectoid enemies that made strange sounds when they were booted off screen. Oh, okay. Yes! Screaming Mantis's throat grows hoarse. Screaming Mantis requires a lozenge. <laughs> And so you come at last, like a young bloom poking through an early spring snow. I am called Koopa in winter. I wait immobile by the tenth gate. The plant that blooms early freezes and perishes. And so too shall you! Uh, not particularly sure of a reference beyond just, you know, Koopas. Like, I can't think of a particularly cold Koopa, unless you count, like, Ice World. No! <laughs> the cold sun of winter has set upon my soul. I made you bloom this day, but beware. The ice and snow know no allegiance. They will consume you, too. The eleventh gate, a place of power, and here you find footsteps of coins. Tell me, warrior, do you walk with your eyes open? Do you see many coins? Coins in blocks, coins on clouds, everywhere there are coins glittering. It is I who leave them, it is I who wander the wide world, coins falling from my heels. Does this mean others should pick up my coins? Of course not! The coins are mine alone, and now I will make change out of you! Cha-ching! I don't feel like I need to introduce the concept of coins for Mario. No. I'm broke! My wealth was in my battle skills, and you have robbed me of them. My poverty of spirit is now matched by my empty pockets. And now I am faced with... No! A loan from Mother! She will frown upon me! I would rather sell my weapons. So, oh, you challenge your skill in the Duel of 100. I am the guardian of the 12th gate, Urchin Lung. Ha <laughs> ha! So, you must be wondering, how many more of these guys must I fight? Fool! There are 88 more of us. Does your resolve falter? Do you have what it takes? It is a relentless marathon of martial artistry. Now come at me! Uh, so urchins were a major roadblock sort of obstacle in underwater sections of Super Mario World. They were large, they were pointy, and they moved slow. A cramp! I yield! 
Ha <laughs> ha! So you are not a slacker after all, fresh challenger. You may have the stamina to defeat us all. Or perhaps you will get a side ache. And the delicious flavor of your defeat. I am Crow Who Eats, guardian of the 13th gate. I will make many meals from your shame. Ka -ka! Uh, possibly a reference to the uh, end stage goals of Super Mario 2, where there was just this large black bird mounted on a wall, and whenever you defeated Birdo, it would open up its mouth and swallow you. Now it is I who must eat crow. <laughs> I was gonna go all deep and serious with you, but then you had to do that, didn't you? Hello, Poising. I am Swollen Kong, master of the 14th gate. Play with me! <laughs> you shall not gas! Wait, I mean grass! I mean pass! <laughs> oh, who cares? Let us fight! Gah! Um... Not particularly sure what a reference that would be other than just having someone speak funny for some reason. You know, to back away from fire. Oh, I have been fit. I mean, hit. I wish I was more fit. So, had it off, have you? Bye now. I mean, bye. foe you face next is Slipping Grip, fearless guardian of the 15th gate. I am a new student of the Sweaty Paw Martial Arts Academy. But I recently passed my Slapatology exam with the highest marks. Now it is you who reap the benefits of my industrious note-taking. Uh, not entirely sure what this would be. Uh, Mario grabbing onto ledges. Possibly one of the many hand-eye bosses. Grip! Slipping! I bring shame upon the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But you will be no match for my brothers. That palm wield the fury of the winds! So you have defeated my brother. I am the second most famous student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. You have no doubt seen me in the Academy newsletter. I am Clammy Hand. Guarding the 16th <laughs> gate is my senior project. I will not fail. The world grows clammy. So clammy. Do not think this is done. You must face my other brother next. He got detention for studying the forbidden wicked palm of a thousand sweats.
I am Forbidden Slap, former top student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But I was expelled for learning forbidden tech. I was expelled for learning forbidden slapping techniques from dark tomes. Now I wield history's most feared and reviled sword slaps. The forbidden slap yields. You have defeated the three star pupils of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. Brother! Brother, are you hurt? Slipping grip! Clammy hand! Why are you here? Why have you left your gates? We were worried about you. Brother, return to the Academy. They will take you back. Yes. Let us return to the Academy and earn an advanced sweaty palm belt. Perhaps they will forgive my selfish quest for dark slapping power. As for you, you may pass. You have beaten us. Now go on and shame the rest like you have shamed us. May the martial arts spirits grant you luck. Onward to glory! Are you not going? No, you do this one. Come, Gozer! And there's a harmless leaf on the trim lawn of the 18th gate! Ash! No! I'm a hairy, uh, an antenna in the grass! I leap on your head and bite your earlobe! Okay, so I believe Orantula is the name of a Mario enemy. Would you believe it's based on a spider? Yeah. Um. I'm not sure which one. Two that come to mind are an enemy in Super Mario Land and Super Mario 64. Your earlobe! It is like iron! I skitter away! The little ones are so annoying. Mm -hmm. They are so fast. <laughs> I didn't want, want to go back. It's just so cute, I gotta see it one more time! Stoic and impenetrable, another castle stands vigil over the 19th gate. Many challengers attempt to lay siege on me, all leave in tears. Tire yourself all you like, pummeling my stony abdomen. I will not fall. This is a reference to Super Mario Brothers 1, where the codes would frequently tell Mario that your princess is in another castle. Oh, yep. Ugh. Walls falling. Well done, but your prize is in another castle. <laughs> Smooth. To rolling swamp, there is one thing best in life. Rolling. Squish. I roll over you and make you flat like sheet of paper. I trust you're familiar with thwomps. Oh no, not a ninja. Roar! Why do you not squish for rolling thwomp? Rolling and squishing is not the same as it was. You go now. 
I have lost passion for squish. Oh. Also not certain if... Like, there's an enemy in Super Mario 64 in the pyramid that's like a swamp that is just rolling back and forth and it's kind of like a spindle, but I'm not sure what their name is. Hmm. What is growing larger? We have to hurry! Hurry? Why not pause and save for the show? Uh-oh. Oh, wrong voice. It is already far too late to stop. Count Black! Who's the creepy clown with the cape? Count Black! <laughs> Black! The prophecy unfolds smoothly thanks to the Chaos Heart. The light of each world will be snuffed out one by one. you want to do something so unspeakable? You question, Count Black? This worthless world's destruction matters not. Far better for Count Black to wipe it out of existence than let it remain. How can you say that? That's horrible! Count Black scoffs at you! An insignificant pixel lectures Count Black on what is right and wrong. This is not up for discussion. You're wrong. It's sick. All living things have a heart. They're all priceless. You can't just erase them. Of all things, you defend the heart. Nothing could be more worthless. All things are meaningless. Aside from timpani, no treasure matters in the least to me. Tim... Timpani? Speak no more! This world is dying under the monocled gaze of Count Black! But don't let that stop you from trying to find a pure heart you will never acquire. <laughs> Black! More go squish soon. Must tell King Summer. Must not accidentally squish King again. <laughs> A rare visit from the Count himself. The Guardian of the 21st Gate simmers in hot, savory fury. I am thrashing, Brawn! You will never pierce my briny husk! I will flail mercilessly at your face with tiny arms! Oh, this isn't a good time. <laughs> if you are the hero we have waited for, you should hurry along to the treasure. I, thrashing Brawn, must allow my anger and allow- must swallow my anger and allow you to pass. Thrashing Brawn, um, possibly another Mario Land enemy? I'm not certain. Oh, there are also the, um, they're not quite prawns, but they are crab enemies from Yoshi's story. They like to thrash with their big meaty claws. Rawr! It is I, Thousand Year Roar! I will make your ears explode with a guttural manly shout! A reference to the Thousand Year Door. Ah. Perhaps now is not the best time to explode your ears. You may pass this time. Hurry on to King Samar! I am unshy guy. Public speaking holds no challenge for me. I will bludgeon you with confidence and charm. Another time. We are currently having a bit of an emergency. The king is up ahead. Go to him. 
So, just a shy guy. But the opposite. I am useless badge. Living a life without utility enrages me. I may exist only for novelty, but that won't stop me from attacking you with futility. For now, I will let you pass. So more uh, older Paper Mario references with badges, some of which weren't particularly useful. Ah. Some just for fun. Look at this fancy sport. Foulness! I am Sunshine Flood, the shining beacon that exposes your filthy filth. I will mop the stage with your filthy clothes. But now is not the time. We will meet again, but you must go and find the king. Big reference to Super Mario Sunshine, where there is a lot of filth and flooding going on. Look at this. An end of chapter. End of chapter! With the void encompassing the entire sky, the end of the world was at hand. Such an upbeat tune to be reading this. The pressure was on for the heroes to find all the remaining pure hearts. Would Regal King Samur be willing to part with his most precious treasure? Leaving an army of Samur guys in his wake, Mario stepped into the palace. Chapter 6-2, The End of a World. A World. Splendid! The heroes have arrived. I received word of your nasty run-in with that despicable Count Blackfellow. So the legends are true. Our ancestors truly did foretell these days. I'm sorry to be rude, your majesty, but there's no time. The pure heart, please. You haven't defeated all of my 100 summer guys. But the situation is grave. Oh, why not? Just for royal giggles, the treasure sits on the 26th gate. Go claim the pure heart you so richly deserve. The treasure sits before the 26th gate up ahead. Go claim the pure heart you so richly deserve. That's King Samur, regal monarch of the great Samur kingdom. Due to the uh, emergency, he came to deliver the pure heart himself. Explosion didn't even turn you black with soot! That totally didn't even hurt you at all! This stinks! <laughs> so you thought you'd just grab the pure heart? You guys are so dumb! Me, 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 like her yukata. Oh, it's cute. You're so silly. Did you crazy heads think the king would give you the pure heart? Oh, yeah. 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 King probably tucked all cozy in a bed, taking a nap in the castle. Making cute little snoring noises while his world goes bye-bye. Mimi, we don't have time for this. Get out of the way. You dummies! The only reason I'm here is to get in the way! I'm not all soft and cuddly like the Count. Nighty night, it's bedtime for you guys! Yeah! Uh, yeah, sure. This Toho. Oh. 
anyway. Give up looking for that dumb pure heart now. This psychotic girl was only trying to stall us. Well, yeah, I, I literally said that. Yeah. Golly, you guys really have your thinking caps on today, huh? Well, I didn't warn you I was meaner than the Count. Anyway, it's a big old bummer I can't stay and play more with you guys. But this place is about to go kablooey! Later, meanies! You're in a great hurry, Challenger, but allow me to introduce myself! I am Grandmaster Kickface of the 26th Gate! I am legendary in face-kicking circles. You have indulged me, Challenger, and so you may pass without a face kick. Uh, uh, possibly just a reference to how Mario typically jumps on enemies? Maybe. Interloper, it is I, Soaring Cape. I will whoosh down upon... Ah, uh, forget it. Just go! Uh, Kate Mario was the major introduced uh, superpower in uh, Super Mario World. Mm. Where he got to take to the sky just like Superman. Fly to King Sama! Now! Oh, but I want more of your introductions. I know. They're like, we have priorities. Go to the king! <laughs> It's like, what are you pausing for? <laughs> we are doomed! It cannot be stopped! <laughs> oh boy. Uh. <laughs> okay. You're not gonna. We're not going to make it! No. No, not like this! And dead! How black. I feel I know him from somewhere. Wait, I do! Uh, at least, I did! I did know him! But, how? And when? Who is he? I can't remember. Oh! <laughs> Mario! What? You realize? I thought it would be like, you're awake or something. She might be continuing this on the next line. Okay. Mario, you realize... I want to hear this! <laughs> uh, what was that? Who's there? Mwah. What's going on here? I'm a little... discombobulated myself, so... It's hard to say. At the very least, we seem to have returned to Flipside. What of King Samur and the Samur guys? And the pure heart. Hmm. 
You're leading to that world still exists, it seems. I wonder. Do we dare go back in? Yes. Yes, I think we should go through. No intro. Just Chapter 6 1. This is what we're fighting against. It's gotta soak all this in. Letting it, yep, really resonate. A rock survive. What's that over there? Ugh. That be? It's a pure heart! It seems an impossibility, but... It somehow survived the obliteration of this world! Something about it seems odd, though. Hehe! <laughs> <laughs> this place is pretty bland now, isn't it? Hey! What's going on here? Looks like your pure heart got broken. No! I guess pure hearts can't handle the end of the world. Whatever. I'll swipe it just for kicks. It's like, man, eh, this will do. Hey there, gorgeous. Don't you know a chaos wasteland is no place for a stunner like you? I demand you take off that mask and show us who you really are! <laughs> How about that prognosticus? Anything that counts as in life? Poof! It never existed. Look, I've got to run. Stay out of the Count's business if you want to live. Even a masked man like you wouldn't watch the, a world die without feeling anything! You must see that Count Blood is totally mad! Still pushing for a fight, huh? Fine. Who am I to disappoint? Robot, launch! Robot. Just check this thing out. This bad boy is sporting the latest in robotics. Meet my new friend, Robot L-Type. The green thunder strikes like lightning! Hey, Miss Pink and Freely! Try not to get the kidnapped before I defeat you! Have at you! Thank you. 
feel like there must have been a faster way to deal with this. The Green Thunder never forgets! I can't shake the feeling I've met that masked man before. Oh, look! He must have dropped it when he ran off. This pure harness. It looks like a rock! There's no sparkle left. Better take it back to Merlin. He'll, he'll know what to do. Okay. No pixel dance. Just it's the rock. You got a pure heart. It's even slightly tilted askew. <laughs> End of chapter. <laughs> I don't know what it is about those guys, but I just can't seem to beat them. <laughs> Did they wound your fragile pride, Mr. L? Oh, no. Demolish your robot again? Oh, it's you again, Dementio. I'm stumped. You'd think a giant robot would be enough to crush those heroes. <sighs> I'm a disgrace. There's no way I can show my face to Count Black after this. Perhaps that is for the best. Oh, now, hey! What are you doing? You said it yourself? You can't go back to the Count now. So get lost. Not a funny joke, Dementio. If I wanted to laugh, your face is inspiration enough. Such temper. Your nostrils, they flare out like the hood of a hissing cobra. I can't have you around the camp. If I am rid of you here, I won't be found out. And the others will never find you. Yes, this is my moment to grasp. Uh -oh. It's time for you to take your final bow, Mr. L. <laughs> Don't worry. It won't be so bad, I promise. I'll send those heroes your way soon, so just so you'll have someone to play with. <laughs> Ciao, Mr. L. Such a mild sound, you're like, oh, he sounds more inconvenienced than in pain. Hello, Shark54. Welcome to the stream. Ah. We didn't need him anyway. <laughs> Aww. The destruction of an entire world was a great and terrible tragedy. 
But Mario and his allies had survived the Cataclysm and found another pure heart. The end of that world had dulled the shine of the pure heart they had found. Was the pure heart's power lost forever? The heroes set out for Flipside to find out. Yeah, so, just got a quick ping from Dementio. Had a little insubordination. Yeah, according to this report, our Mr. L took on a hero-fighting initiative. I accept full responsibility. It was my administration... My, my, eh. It was my administration breakdown that allowed this. I see, remarked Count Black. Well, what is done is done. This prophecy will not be fulfilled without sacrifice. So, okay, um, just another quick update on Mimia. She, uh, also left the castle. Did she now? Well, Count Black will leave you to dispense the minion discipline. Cow, um, seem a bit different today. New article? Did something happen? Count Black feels fine. Leave me. Oh, um, of course. Yeah. Please, please excuse me. At least no chunks followed orders. Could that pixel have been... Timpani? No, no! Completely impossible! I should know that better than anyone. Besides, it's far too late to do anything now. The prophecy has been set in motion and no one, not even I, can stop it. No one can stop this now. Timpani! What did you do with her? I must see her! Still your tongue, Blumier. Can't you see you've been duped by a dirty human? You have brought shame to my name and to the entire tribe of darkness. And so what if I did? It doesn't matter to me. She's my entire world. Well then, it will interest you to know that she no longer resides in this world. What? What do you mean by that? This is the price those who resist their own fate must pay, my son. She... Oh. It can't be so! Someday you will see, son. Our kind and humans must never mix. Who's human? Ugh. No, that's still not what I want. It's a catchy light motif that they stuck everywhere. Mm. So, just a quick heads up, especially if you're playing this your first time. Uh, you are going to be stuck away from home for a little bit once you go and see Merlin. Just make sure you get your affairs in order before you do so. Maybe fill out a last will and testament. Hmm. I found this door and threw her in. Then the door disappeared, so no clue what happened. Oh ho! The heroes return! Tell me, do you have the seventh pure heart? Well, maybe you should take a look at it, Merlin. 
Hmm. Hmm? What? What happened to it? The void had consumed that world and left your heart like this. Oh no, this is awful, terrible. And the world, yes, that's horrible too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do not feel the typical energy from this pure heart. Even if you set this in a heart pillar, it would do nothing. What to do? Oh! Uh, but then, how do we save him? I mean, how do we save everyone from destruction? To stop this prophecy, we must defeat Count Black, who started all of this. They died. Oh well, sucks to suck. <laughs> We are between a rock and a hard place. I do realize I just skipped a line, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> the forlorn group of heroes, how they cry. Ah. The tears flow like sad chowder. Oh, oh okay. D Dementia? What are you doing here? Oh, bad news for you. There's no way in this world to restore the heart, to restore the pure heart. Yes, sadly, your hard work was all in vain. Oh, are you serious? That really stinks. <laughs> yes, it does. And that's why I decided to give you a consolation prize. Wait, hey, Dementia, want to hold this weird rock? Mind if I do? <laughs> oh. We're getting mouse cursor. Ah! What hey. just happened? Mario, Princess Peach, Bowser, Mario, where'd you go? Idea. It's quite simple. I fulfilled their wishes. I sent them to the next world. <laughs> you do know who I am, right? I am your enemy, Dementio. I serve Count Black. Well, as pleasant as this has been, I must leave. Ciao! Dasho could not give less of a crap. <laughs> Well, it's been a wonderful and fun game. Thanks for all coming out and watching it. He really does. I'm a downer at the end there, but he really does. We had fun. He's just laughing. <laughs> it's fine. Well, hi. Hey, new face. So tell me, first time down here in the underwear? <laughs> Just a little joke. People don't arrive here twice. <laughs> oh, what'd you say? What's the underwear? You're kidding, right? Man, for a guy with no extra lives, you're sure hilarious. Isn't it obvious? This is where people go when their games are over. Some call it World Negative One. Negative One. So, how'd your game end, anyway? Poison 1-up? Bad jump? Or did someone... What? You say your game's not over? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. Denial. Always the first step. Maybe you just need to hear it from Queen Jadies. She's the scariest thing in the underwear. That is saying something. She rules over us shades. She'll tell you straight, your game is over. Mouse cursor, not a common death, but here we are. Yup. Uh, so, world negative one, the references aren't done yet. Uh, there were a uh, few glitches in the original Super Mario Brothers that could send you to unplanned worlds, including some that brought the counter down to negative numbers. 
Hey, how's your after game? Listen, if you feel tired, take a dip in that fountain. I'll power you right up. Of course, if you're already feeling fine, there's probably no point in going for a swim. Boy, if that micro Goomba hadn't dashed out just as I jumped for that platform. Oh, you swerved in midair, landed on a spiked floor, and ended your game, huh? What? No! What kind of a jumper do you think I am? I cleared the spikes easy. Then BAM! Bottomless pit. Oh boy, I can tell you're new here. Let me do you a favor and tell you what's up. The River Twigs is up ahead, okay? Be really careful not to drown. Word is, there are ghosts down there that drag you down, never to surface again. Huh? What happens to Shades of Folly? Well, their after game ends. I figure they'll end up in the post after game mode. So. These two are hilarious. Do they say anything more? Let's kill the micro Goomba. So, good job. Uh, so I think we did skip over the notes for you today. Uh, so this character, bit of a teenage brat, uh, definitely bring your tsundere to bear. Also, she mixes 90s to 2000s slang with Shakespearean English, so have fun with that. Okay! Hmm. Oh me, I wonder if I shall meet my most special someone today. Surely he's a prince of countenance fair, pining even now to meet me. Quickly, my loving prince, fly to me! Hello! Pray, what hast thou to stare at me so? Dost thou hear me pine for an old mustachioed fatty? Be gone! She seems nice. Yeah. We have nothing. <laughs> can jump. I can jump. Does that count as fly? Why can I not cross over? Oh. That's the hard way. Hello, oh, Dunkle Damas. Uh, sorry about the ads, but welcome to the stream. Yo. Twigs is a wonderful place, and everyone should go there. Whoa. Interesting music. Sting. 
That lovely track features backwards recorded uh, voices plaintively calling for help. <sighs> this is terrifying to behold. Very. Hi, how are ya? Good, great. I'm a D-man, prime go-getter and faithful ser- and faithful queen servant. You wanna see the queen? You gotta move, kid, okay? She's real busy. Oh, and here's a tip. She knows all the bad stuff you did before your game ended. So don't play that whole I'm a hero stuff down here. Just warning you, kid. Ah, so busy. Blah, blah. Like work is in my mouth. I'm choking on it. I swear, I'm so busy. I don't have time to think, much less eat or sleep. Blah. Hey, so, you lived a good life, you can move to the over there. I hear it's nice. And I gotta say, I got a virtuous vibe off of you. I'm sure you'll make it there. You gotta go speak to Queen Jadies right away. Shoot! I'm on dredge patrol for the River Twigs tomorrow. That river bit is huge, too. Oh, paid. It's gotta get done. Shadies get stuck. Oh, shades get stuck in the hole down there. Wow. You. What business do you have with me? I'm Queen Jax, mistress of the underwear. <laughs> Ruler of those with ended times. Ended games are. And Jadies. Jadies. Here in this place, your sins from your time among the living are weighed. Your sins are light enough. The bliss of the over there will be yours. But if not, you suffer for eternity among the game over. I'm here for the new manager position, Miss Jadies. Now, let us weigh your sin. Hmm. I sense a strange energy. You brought something strange into the underwear by chance. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh no. It could not be, but how? This is badly damaged. Yes, but we'll... what you hold is a pure heart. Who exactly are you to have a pure heart? And what has happened to it? Hold on, I gotta take it. Wait, that, that, yes, yes, that's my foot. Sorry. I have to take it. What is it now, Grams? You know, I'm working. What? Love me is missing? Oh, mercy. I understand. Y y yes, I I'll, I'll see to it. Bye. Just great. Just what I need. Already short-handed. What am I going to do? They do get reception down here. Oh, perhaps you can help. That phone call I received just now was the king of the over there, Gramby. One of the Nimbus vanished from the over there, and he asked me to look for her. But I can't abandon my duties here in the palace. And my D-men are all busy. It must fall to you. 
Will you search for this miss missing person in my place? Hmm. What do we get out of it? What? You would refuse me? Do you not know the fate of those who divide Jadis? I will ask you again. Will you please search for Love Bee in my stead. Hmm. No. Still, you do not agree. I must warn you, I can be very persuasive. I will ask you again. Will you please search for Love Bee in my stead? <laughs> you are a stubborn creature. This is your last chance, and I mean that. Ask one last time. Will you please search for Love Bee in my stead? No. I see. Then we are done here, it seems. You will spend the rest of eternity in the foulest corner of the underwear. Farewell, mustached shade. <laughs> Goodbye. There's already a dude patrolling the river. Just go ask him. Oh boy, we got a bit of a trek back. So in case anyone hasn't been picking up on it, this is a big allegory for the Greek afterlife. Oh, yeah. uh, the river Styx, Hades. Yeah. Uh, the demon are a bit of a more Christian influence, but whatever. Mm. We're being slightly off base. Greek Afterlife has a lot of pipes, yes. There's a lot of layers to Hades. And I do indeed mean the god, the place, and the game. The orange juice bloweth over. I could have saved you. Oh well. It's like a three in one shampoo and conditioner. Incidentally, this would be the NIMBY we're looking for, Love Bee. Gosh. Right? But we don't know we're looking for her yet. Check you out, but we don't have uh, Tippy with us because he is a reference to Karen. Oh, my Choo Choo Train did I not update? I am playing Super Paper Mario. Welcome to the stream. Of course, she's one of the few women in the Mario universe not swooning over him. Mm. Um, it's not swooning. I, Tippy did have like a natural affinity with him. Hmm. 
Better than cursing at any rate. Hottest Mario characters go. <laughs> It's far too big a list for me to just improv, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, we'll search in your place. Oh, thank you so very much. I apologize for asking this of you, but it really would help. The name of the missing NIMBY is Lovey. Uh, change off. And what is your name? Mario. Oh, Mario, I may hold on to this pure heart while you're busy searching. Yoshi is baby. Yoshi is not on that list. Oh. Worry not. I just want to look. I'll return it to you when you return with love. Me. And in its place, allow me to give you this. Whoa. Word has reached me that someone has fallen into the river Steeds. Please. Please. Some said that it, some said it was a strange fellow dressed in green. It could not be love. Still, just in case, I would suggest that you check there first. This key will open a door to the underground waterways beneath the river beneath the river Tweeds. You know she is the world's best Uber driver. <laughs> You can get rid of him easily. Ouch. Please, I must ask that you search the area thoroughly. All right, but only because you asked. Well, Berto probably ends up high on the list. This is the river tweaks. All right, now we're going down when we're supposed to. She did say please, so we got to search. Yep. We had more of the creepy music. I'm sure this has no ramifications for the underworld. Underwear. Especially when you're thrown to the dirtiest corner of it. Very briefly, the drowning sinners felt relief and then had it extinguished. The underwear is wet. Ugh. We care they're dead and sinners. Honestly, they deserve it. Uh, We're here because of all the Goombas we, we squished. It might just be me, but I don't think there is any deed that's deserving of eternal punishment. Especially when it's cruel as drowning. I can think of a few. Eternity is a long time. Oh yeah. Worth it. It's a hawk! Welcome to the stream! Hey hawk! Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not doing anything for us. But I think we can get behind that block that way. Jaywalking, yes. Drown forever. Be fair, but like these sinners aren't real, so screw them. <laughs> about two-thirds off screen it's because my avatar doesn't know how to stay on screen it's got the zoomies oh, what is this do they're simply pixels on your screen thus their lives matter not hey now I am simply pixels on your screen <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Dead pixels are annoying, they are. Dead pixels deserve eternal damnation for being so annoying. I am a person behind those pixels. That is one of the nicest things anyone has ever said to me. Thank you. They are nothing more than an idea and a concept. Hmm, healing orange juice. Oh boy, how would I end up in this stinky place? Complex underling grabbed me, I remember that. And, and then... Oh, uh, oh, forget it! I just wish somebody would come help me! You're like, yo, it's fine! Ah! But, bro? Oh yeah! I missed you, bro! Huh? Huh? Why am I here? Well, I don't really know. I mean, where am I exactly? What? The underwear? The land of ended games? Bro, what are you saying? What does it all mean? Hmm. That's one word answer is the best things ever. Uh -huh. Okay, I gotcha. So my game is over. Great. I guess one of Count Black's baddies must have done me in. Just like you guys, huh? Well, everybody runs out of the extra lives sometime, right? So, oh, what should we do now? Lovebee? You're looking for someone named Lovebee? Hey, sounds good to me. I'm loaded with free time. After all... My game's over! Taking this in stride, Luigi has joined your group! Prada! I was feeling pretty low, bro. But now that you're here, I want to jump for joy! Yay! This looks like a job for Luigi! So, we finally have our fourth hero, Luigi. <sighs> Luigi jumps high. Ooh. Can raise his hand and somehow convey an entire speech? He does have to be careful about which hand he's raising, though. Uh, 
Uh, can we get out as we are with Luigi? Or do we need the water? We do need the water back on. At least it's closer here. Oh, twigs are flooded. Wondering what happened to that Mr. L guy. Luigi would have loved him. Oh no, it was a kind of rude. Probably best they don't meet. Obsesses over brothers so much they make a robot after them. Definitely not me. I don't even know what a robot is. Oh. Did not see the spikes. Yours, Mario. Yours, Witch. I am missing it thoroughly. Down you go. This is right. Does Luigi have hidden in his hat that prevents him from getting a concussion every time he jumps? That's the neat thing. Nothing! A hard hat. Big coins are only worth three coins. Love me. Hercules flipped from 2D to 3D to stop Hades? Yeah. I await a handsome prince, understand? Princes only! Ugh, hold a moment. <laughs> Dost thou claim to be a prince for whom I pine? Well, I suppose if the marriage with Daisy goes through, I fulfill your criteria. But then I'd just be a king. Hmm. No, it was a. Uh, it's uh, something else. Isn't it like a consort or something? Consort, yeah. Priceless! Yeah, verily. Very well then, good prince. Let us confirm thy lineage. Uh. How would you do that? If thou art my prince, then surely thou knowest my name. 
Pikachu mine ears. If the name is true, then I shall admit thou art mine one and only. Bubbly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> In thy face! My name is not Lo. What? <laughs> Who has so combined the knowledge of my name? No. Doth this mean? Nay! Nay, nay! Such foulness! The very fuck cannot be abided! I cannot date a man so old and unpleasant to the eye! I shall return to mother! Gah! Gag. Gag! Hello? I don't think I'm that old. Too old for her, sure, but... Too easy to need a hug after that. <laughs> of course, given the parallels we're dealing with here, uh, maybe Luigi is not the old one. We're not paying you four coins. Though it is a nice touch that it's four coins. Which in Japanese and Chinese cultures is a homonym with death. Unfortunately for Luigi, Daisy is back in the main Mario world, which for all we know is already destroyed. Oh no! Mamma mia! Luffy, mind your manners. You know this all happened because you wandered off without permission. Now, apologize to these nice men at once. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry that thou art so hairy. Oh, <laughs> oh Luffy, you had us all so very worried. Mario, please accept this as a sign of my eternal thanks. Here. We got the revitalized Ooh. pure heart. I have the power over life and death, you see. And I was able to use that power to restore this pure heart. I not know how you found it, but this pure heart shows that fate is on your side. Take good care of it. And by the way, it may please you to know that your game is not truly over. Somehow, you were sent to the underwear while still very much alive. My power can return you to your world if you wish. What would you like to do? Then I shall return you. Jadis, Jadis, Jadis! Oh! Game over, game over, game over, game over, game over, game over, game Off we go! What about Luigi? I know! Oh, he's dead. What about the other two? What other two? Oh, oh here we go. Mario! You're alive! M M Mario? But I saw Dementio end your game! Then Tiffy said you were here, so I thought I'd come and take a look, but... Oh, you're truly alive! 
You know my bro always bounces back. Like me. I bounce too. Um, and you are? We can introduce ourselves later. For now, let's head into my house. So, that's how you did it then. Hi. <laughs> so, hey, I'm Luigi. I'm my bro's bro. Nice to meet you. Haven't we met somewhere before? Hmm. Oh boy, not that I remember, but... Uh... Wait, is it possible that you're our fourth hero? Funny you should say that. I just found this interesting bit in the Light Prognosticus. The seventh lost pure heart will draw together two men. The seventh... Wait, you said that. The seventh lost heart is a bit of an otaku, you see. Ah. And when the light returns... Oh, I can't wait for that. Its brilliance will show the way to the last hero. Yes, as Tippy said, I think this fellow in green may be our final hero. Hmm. Mario, I never stopped believing you would return. But Princess Peach and Bowser... How to proceed? Well, if you could come back, perhaps Peach and, pa and Bowser can also. Uh, I'm not sure I follow your logic here, Shark, about why Mario's death would give him entitlement to the star point there. But first, let's find a heart pillar where we can set this pure heart in. Yes, it's been an exciting two chapters, hasn't it? We died! We got better! Uh, now. Where are we going to find another pillar? We found Luigi, so that's cool, yes. All right. Wait, I do have pixels. They're so unimportant, it never really occurred to me that they were back here. Flopside Pit of 100 Trials. We're not doing this today. Don't I dare what? Oh, 
Gotta have all the heroes for a flop side pit, where it just feels wrong. Who said we're getting any more heroes than this? Just Mario and Luigi against the world! This is a heart slot, but it's not a heart pillar. We have the four heroes, Mario, Luigi, Tippy, and Dashiell. Squeaks, they should have had a plushie of them or something. Mostly agree, the legs would be an interesting puzzle to tackle. There we go. Like, do you just build them to be a water wheel on top of everything? Found it! Last door! We are definitely not forgetting any doors. So this is the seven. Now there's just a single pure heart left to find. We have to act quickly. We have to stop that Blamere. What did I just... Blamere... Wait, hold on. What in the world is that? What am I saying? You'd assume it's an insect with three legs on each side? Mm. They clearly are set up so that they've kind of got this ever-going uh, rotation of legs as a thing. Which is why I think it's more like a water wheel. So you'd need, like, an opening in the bottom right of the plush, or the bottom back, rather. You see how they just continue to cycle in a loop? It's like a wheel of legs. Get to. Dementio's savage attack had separated Mario from his friends. He had reunited with Luigi, yes, but Peach and Bowser were still missing. Just where were those two? And what new dangers lay ahead? 
it was time to venture through this door opened by the seventh pure heart. Once again, Mario saw a nightmarish landscape beyond imagination. I just get Boston Dynamics to handle it, make all sorts of weird robots. I'm sure it can be done. It's just a little odd as a plush, but certainly doable. Chapter 7-1, Subterranean Vacation. Oh boy, new orphan. Oh, come on. It's so dark here. I wonder, what sort of, I wonder what sort of world this is. Huh? What in the... Hey! Wait, this is the underwear! <laughs> we just came from here! Oh? So... Is that about the place... Is that the place you told me about? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I wonder why the pure heart led us here. Well, hi. Just arrived here in the underwear, did you? What? You've been here before. <laughs> Good one. Lie to the queen, though, and you'll regret you ever started your game. So I fell out of this pipe. Luckily, I landed in the sea, so I was totally okay. Right, so let me guess. You're gonna tell me you sank like a stone, right? What are you talking about? I'm an incredible swimmer. I swim like a cheap cheap. That was what did me in. I looked just like a fish and BAM! Boss Bass Snack. Uh. Nightmare fuel from Super Mario Bros. 3. Dude changed his story? Yes, he did. <laughs> I hit the fireball and then I hit, fell into the pit. Luigi, why are your shoes so slippery? Maybe it's not the game overs but the various deaths? That could be. Luigi! We are getting you rubber grippers. You almost did it again. Hmm. That's Charler. Cheryl? Yeah. Cheryl. That's Cheryl. It's his job to ferry shades who wish to join Jadis. He dreams of buying a ship with the coins he get he gets from the shades. Zoom. Hello. Greetings. Welcome to the. Wait. Why have you returned? You're Queen Jadis? My name is Tippy. I'm a friend of Mario's. We... we came to find the pure heart that's hidden in this world. What? You're collecting pure hearts! That's technically true. Luigi he is an Olympic swimmer. No boat needed. Hmm. Now that I take a good look at you, I realize you just might be the heroes mentioned in the prognosticus. Could you really be... The ones? So... Does that mean you have a pure heart for us, Queen Janus? The location of the pure heart is a matter of utmost secrecy, I'm afraid. There's nothing I can tell you. Well, uh, would you reconsider? Because this place is going to get very busy very quickly if you don't. Mm. You really must know. Sorry, if you really must know. You'll have to speak to Gromby, king of the over there. Mother! My things are packed.
I didn't check thrice. I'm ready to return to the owner there. Oh, me! Thou returnest. Did thy game truly end this time? An idea strikes. Could you fine heroes take love me back to the over there for me? Take her back? Why would... Why ever would you need us to do a thing like that? A monster was once held beneath there, but a recent earthquake freed it. Once it escaped its prison, it began to wander this realm freely. Of course, I could never send my daughter alone with such a loose beast on the loose. A loose beast and the savage. If you could take her back, I would gladly open the way to be over there for you. I will also alert Gramby that you're coming to ask him about the pure heart. What say you? This is a fair bargain. I thank you. With this monster about, my D-men and I are busy trying to contain the damage. Just go through this door and keep heading upward to reach the over there. And make sure Lovely, uh, Lovely arrives safely in the care of Grams. I mean, Grams. But avert thine eyes whilst we climb, lest thou succumbeth to my kids. Oh, I like this little reference. It doesn't look like you're wearing a skirt. Oh, please. It's not that superficial. Oh, me, a sharpened tongue. Thou art jealous. Dost thou pine for yonder hairy twins? For whom dost thou... For whom dost thou pine the most? The red one or perhaps the green one? What? I... Thy cheek grows red and thy manner flustered. A crush hot as a thousand suns burns deep within thy heart. Yay, verily. Alas for thee, methinks. Anyway, move us on. Oh, we've got quite the train going on here. <laughs> Just open the door in JD's face. By the way, you recommend entering 7-3 as Mario? Something really funny happens. End of chapter! Get back on screen. Love beat. Oh, love me. I sought a prince, but nay. What I found were ancient men of hairy cheek. It was a whore, yea. And one that left my breath stricken in my throat. Lovebee kept up this refrain as she traveled with our heroes. She seemed less than happy. Still, she did have a lot of energy. Hasten thy chubby legs! Time waits not for those who slack. Luigi, on the other hand, was elated that he and his brother were finally reunited. But Peach and Bowser were still nowhere to be found. Were they safe? So thought our heroes as they made their way slowly to Underwear Road. Hmm. Chapter 7-2, The Sealed Doors 3. Uh oh. Uh, since this is 7-2, there is a reasonably good chance we're not going to get to 7-3 tonight. Hmm. At long last, we find it. Herein lies the way out of underwear. This is the underwear road. So if we proceed ever upward, we'll eventually reach over there. So it's kind of like that folded pocket in the front. Yeah, barely. One would think that'd be obvious. Ugh. My heart weepeth to return to the over there without meeting my true love. Pray speakest to me, Tippy. Leave 
is thou in the idea of a soulmate? Hmm. Well, you know, I... I don't really... Hmm. I shall mark that as one vote for undecided. Or perhaps I should say unrequited in my case. <laughs> what are you... Ridiculous! I mean, I'm not! <laughs> Sweet Tippy, how simple it was to tweak thy chain. So, now I must forge onward. Catches me if thou canst. That girl is a walking mood swing. I mean, she's entirely unstable, isn't she? Yeah, great. Listen, though this door is the underwear's hot spot. Oh, through this door is the underwear's hot pot. Mmm, hot pot. Yeah, great. Listen, through this door is the underwear's hot spot. Underwear road. The dark is so dark in there, you can almost taste it. And it tastes like danger. So, tourists, huh? Listen, you guys aren't packing any fire or anything, are you? Sorry, gotta ask. We keep it dark in there on purpose, so we don't want to spoil it. Hot pockets, you want one? Uh, hot pot. Though I've not actually experienced that, I hear it's good. There is a thing just out of sight. Oh, that's lucky. And a hand. And the return of these! And back down we go. when he had fire. A door. It looks as though it's held closed by some mysterious force. Sure you don't want to volunteer what's going on, Tip? Uh, not Tippy Lumpy. Hmm. This door. It's no ordinary door. Halt! Oh, please, I heard. Oh, what's this thing? Travelers have come. It's <laughs> reaching through the floor. Cheers. Now, Queen Jadies demands a guard that door. Queen Jadies demands I guard this door, people. I'm Door Guy the First. Lots of monsters around, folks. Lots of monsters. So I've got to do routine checks, okay? Sorry for the trouble, folks. But I need to make sure you're trustworthy. And to do that, I've turned on all the lights. Just a couple questions. Answer them all correctly, and we're done here. Then you can head on through. Here's the first one. I'm warning you, though. These are pretty tough questions, so use those noggins. d Mine A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost 7 coins apiece, and tomatoes cost 10 coins apiece, okay? d Mine A has 50 coins when he goes into the store. He comes out with 5 coins. Those are the facts. Now! Who is the most powerful person in the underwear? Queen Jadis. Dingo! Correct. Next question. Shade B buys 667 pens for 13 coins each and buys 108 notebooks for 42 coins each. 
He needs more money, so he takes out 3,756 coins from the bank and spends it all. Those are the facts. Now, what is my name? Gorgai the Thirst. <laughs> I like that though. Gorgai the Thirst. Dingo! Dingo. Correct! Now, for the last question. What does he need all these supplies for? <laughs> It's like when you're in elementary school and your name comes up in the math problem and everyone's looking at you wondering, why do you need 14 apples? <laughs> and then for the rest of your time there, you are known as the apple guy. Panda A and Bear B go to the... Uh, Panda A and Bear B go to the apple mountain for a day of apple picking, right? There are 120 apple trees on the mountain and each has a 20 apple yield. A takes 10 seconds to pick each apple, when B takes 20 seconds to pick each apple. Those are the facts. Now, how many times did I just say the word apple? Speaking of apples, oh no, we were actually supposed to pay attention that no! time. No! Five? It doesn't sound like it was a lot. But do we count this time right now? Oh. wrong -o. Dang! Sorry, folks, but that's not what I need to hear. Can we start over from apples? Mm. Oh, you folks again? Guess you really need to get through here, huh? Be that as it may, you're still gonna have to answer the security questions. Here's the first one. Now for the last question. Panda A and Bear B go to Apple Mountain for a day of apple picking, right? There are 120 apple trees on the mountain and each has a 20 apple yield. A takes 10 seconds to pick each apple, while B takes 20 seconds to pick each apple. That's six. Those are the facts. Now, how many times did I just say the word apple? A little ambiguous. I'm gonna go with because you just said it. Mm. Six. Dingo! Correct! How much is this door getting paid to say this stuff? It's a living. You folks seem okay to me. Head on through. You imagine if you said this up? Six and we're in the afterlife. That's almost like when they use four. Yeah. What do you want? Look, we love to chit chat, but we're crunch time busy over here, can't you tell? I wonder why these guys have loincloths, but the guys in JD's castle have suits. We simply wish eh, we simply wish to reach the over there. We don't know which way it is. The over there, huh? See that door on your left? It'll head you up there. But uh, we can't open it right now. Different dress code. We gotta guard this door. We trapped a raging beast from the underwear inside. Oh. Yep. This thing in here is definitely the one that escaped his prison. Can't have it breaching security, so we locked both doors just in case. Oh. I'll keep this brief. This thing's a beast. Let me tell you, real nasty. If it starts rampaging again, I don't want to be the D-man who has to stop it. <laughs> Problem is, until someone subdues it, we can't use the door to the over there. So if, if you can tame it, we can open that door for you. <laughs> Wanna give it a shot? <laughs> I was just messing with you. Seriously, no one would ever be dumb enough to... Wait, did you even say yes? Are you nuts? You're serious! You actually think you can tame that beast? Well, hey, yeah, great idea. Sounds like a smart plan. Tell you what, you head on in and I'll mail your mustache to your next of kin. Look, my prediction, your game's about to end. If not, 
Well, I'll be on your way. Give it a shot, champ. Oh my gosh. You brought up eggs, you heard it likes those? Those jerks and shades keep jumping me. And what's with the dark? And Peach isn't here. And I'm hungry! What did I do to deserve this? Hey, it's the guy in green. You're alive? But where's everyone else? What happened to Peach? We don't know yet. We're looking for her, too. So what you're telling me is that she's definitely not here. I don't like this one bit. Aha! Uh -huh. I see your little plan. You want to break up what me and Peach are going? Yeah, you've been waiting for a chance to fireball me in the back. No, no. Uh, no, we truly don't know where Peach is. We are merely... Cut it, you ugly little bug! I'll stop the truth out of you! CHARGE! Oh no! My favorite strategy being used against me! Fire ignites the bombs. people and conquer kingdoms. Karma's a beach, my dude. What is a man? Dang, why do I always lose? What is wrong with me? I get up every time, though. Many times as it takes to send you to the underwear. Um, sorry to break this to you, big guy, but we are already there. See, this is the underwear. What? What are you talking about? Do I look like a guy whose game is over? You and Mario were sent here to the land of... To, to the land of edit games, to the underwear. We don't know what had happened to any of you. Not just Peach. What? So, wait. Peach really is lost out there somewhere? Oh yeah. Oi. Why did you say so, idiot? We could have been searching this entire time! Bowser's rejoined the party. What are you waiting for? Let's move! Hey, it's you. And your game isn't over. Did you run away or something? What? You beat it! Seriously? No way! Man, I can't believe it. Wow, uh, thanks. You're a prime go-getter, pal. This key will open the door that connects to the over there. Hmm. 
Cool, cool. Problem solved. Way to think outside the box there, people. I'll just stay and watch here. You two go find the rest of the monsters out there. We're on it! Oh, hey, and let me give you a little tip. Lots of dark areas around here, right? Solution? Put a little flame to the torch sconces you see on the walls. That'll light up the place for a while. Careful, though. It'll eventually go out. You know someone who can use fire? Get him on torch duty, strat! Not dead, but we're gonna leave that detail out. I don't like these stairs very much. How is anyone else supposed to climb? Well, I guess that's the point, isn't it? You're not supposed to climb these stairs. Unless you've got special permission, in which case they probably activate the elevator. Suspicious pipe. to have Bowser back. Aw, <laughs> oh, they're all gone. That's just cruel and... Oh wait, that's the point. Door. Looks as though it's held closed by some mysterious force. This door... It looks like the it looks like door guy the first from earlier. Oh, what's this then? Travelers have come. Now, Queen JD demands a guard this door, folks. I'm Door Guy the second. You can tell because of the different tint of my eyes. Look, I apologize for the intrusion. I've just got to run a quick security check here. I've got a few questions. Answer them all correctly, and we'll move you on through. Activate Scream! Alright, question one. Look closely at the objects on the screen, okay folks? Looks like we've got one of each color and shape. Now, answer me this. How many red objects were there? Hmm. Sorry, folks, but I'm not going to tell you if you're right or not just yet. Definitely got more of a budget. <laughs> Question two. Watch that screen now. Two red circles, no yellow triangle. Otherwise the same. How many triangles were there, folks? ha <laughs> Question three. Eyes at the screen, folks. Only the blue are moving. Everything else is one of each. What color were the moving objects? Schmorange. That's your answer, eh? Yep. Now, 
Next question. Ah. Off the top of your head, what number question is this? One million. Yeah, no. Getting tired yet, folks? Don't give up. This is the last question. Look closely at the screen. Two yellow triangles, no square. Otherwise, one of each. What shape was the most plentiful, folks? Done! Let me just analyze your responses real quick. I've meditated and come back with this. Ho ho ha! P -p 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 Perfect! Yeah. Amazing! I'm impressed! Your brain ages must be very young, folks. Back to brain age. Well, with brains that young, you must be good people. Head on in. Yeah, that's definitely how that works. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely nothing evil done with the young brain. I don't want to go in. Fine. Well, we've got a trio of sisters here. <laughs> well, where are you headed, youngin? You have free time, right? How about you do old Hagnes a favor? So, you'll do it, yes? I did not imagine you would turn down a lovely... Lady? Lady. I have one simple request. Just stay here a while and let me talk to you. Now let me see. What would we sh what should we talk about? I know. I'll tell you a spicy little story from my days of burning you. You may not know it to see me now, but I was quite a red heart. Oh, little tomato back in my day. <laughs> I think those are called capsaicin. Boys drew in my presence. I was the very incarnation of beauty back then. I had a date with a new handsome fellow every single night. <laughs> then one day a certain fellow caught my eye and I fell deeply in love. But I was shy. Real feelings on the line. Devotion. Rival. His affection is here. Oh, how I raged into the night. Like night and day, our personalities were polar opposite. Yes. And yet, through some twist of fate, we'd fallen for the same fellow. <laughs> we two locked ourselves out doing all we, we knocked ourselves out doing all we could to turn his head. Keep in mind, I was a vet, a veteran man eater. Agnes knew what she was doing. A vegetarian man eater? How's that work? But if I cooked him seven layer cake. She would do it A layers and hide it. That doesn't sound food safe. She would fill his schedule with dates with her so I, so I could not. You get the idea. I had some I had to find some way to set myself apart from her and his eye. Yeah, I just kept at it. Until I found the courage to tell him my feelings one fine day. But then he rejected me. My rival had already won his heart. I was so distraught. My hair turned white overnight. And I was aged until I looked like this. <laughs> Just kidding. I made that part up. But anyway, I feel like my youth ended on that day. 
What is it with old ladies making up the last bits of stories these days? Yep. Blossomed magnificently. And then the bloom fell from the branches. But flowers are beautiful because they must wither. So my beauty was true. And the name of the fellow I was after? Grumpy. He lives far above us in the overworld. I have no regrets about my pretty youth. In fact, remember, in fact, remember, remember me to Grumpy. Ah, oh, that was just lovely. Thanks to you, I feel so refreshed. Now then, what is it? Am I done? Well, not exactly, young, youngin. I must thank you. Thanks. That is my present for you. Very nicely drawn out. Thank you. <laughs> And where are you headed, young man? I get the ones to know. You seek a puny heart? I know not what that means, but it sounds serious. Yes, and I hate to be a bother, but I have a small problem. You see, and listen carefully here. There is a show I really wanted to watch on Under Vision tomorrow night. So I sent my reporter to tape it out automatically so I would not forget, yes? It has to be the high quality, too. Not that, not just any junk will. Not that quick stuff. Such an awful image cut. In any case. I must be sure the go the bone bone ball game didn't go into extras and delay it. I asked the D-man to check on the recording. Could you ask him about the game for me? Oh simply wonderful. Yes. Well, I'll send you to where that D-man currently lingers. Thanks for everything. Hagwagatha! Agatha Wagatha. Agatha Wagatha. I can kind of get behind this kind of side quest where they just warp you to where you need to go. Mm. Uh, a message for me? Oh, from that hag who wants me to check on her show. What show was it again? Uh-oh. I think it was Hagtime Mystery Hour. Hagtime Mystery Hour? Okay, thanks for the reminder. Tell that hag I've got it covered. I'll check in on it, no prob. Later. Mm. I have a small problem. You can't work the TV. <laughs> Back up we go. No, that was close. Good thing I'm big like Bowser. Great to see you tripping in. Oh, did you tell the demon? Wonderful! As thanks, I will tell you something good. Do you know about that horrible beast with three heads? The Underchunk. Well, it loves music. If you play this favorite song, it will go to sleep faster. But if you run into it, you have 
if you have something that plays music or uses it, yes, should make the battle should make the battle a little easier suddenly. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hydra. Yes, one of the ancient sisters three, the underwear crows. Hmm. Young one, aren't you? Where are you headed, young man? I seek the grail. You seek the pure heart, so you desire an audience with Grombi. Bowser doesn't serious. Even, Bowser doesn't even question who love he is, he just knows somehow. Well, you're not the only show here with a problem. No, for I have, for I have one as well. Yes, I lent a certain book to a certain D-man, you see. Now I must need it back. And could you find him and get it back, back for me? Serving in madness. Good, good. Allow me to send you where the demon man in question is. And thanks again for your help. Hagra Kadagra! Hagra Kadagra! Return the book? Oh, you mean the one I borrowed from that hag? Yeah, no prob, no prob. Just finished reading that bad boy, actually. Diet book about slimming down. Do I look like I need to diet? Gotta say, that weight loss plan seems kind of dubious. Yeah, probably a fad. But hey, thank that hag for me anyway, okay? And I think we are going to make our way back up turn in the good news, and that's where we'll end it for tonight. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a treasure chest here. No! It's great now that we can see. Dark blue card. Eh. Plan anyway, since it's the afterlife, you would assume it's like scoping out organs or scooping out organs or something. For a diet? Um. Well, for one, just because it's the afterlife doesn't mean that the demon and the other hosts are dead. They kind of just manage the place potentially. But there are also some afterlives where you do still need to follow uh, basic bodily functions or else something or other happens to you. Or for all we know, the diet plan is actually an exercise plan. Full finger point. Hmm. This is it. Yes, yes. I'm getting a little punchy in my old age. I thought I might try this no tummy bummy diet. 
try and get back into shape. Thanks for getting me this, yes. Let me give you this as thanks, Sunny. Hey. <laughs> Goodbye, young man. Alright. So, uh, they did mention using music for the Underchomp coming up. It is very likely that you do not have this. Mm. Well, maybe not likely, but very probable because of that whole nonsense fetch quest that we had to do. Or, not the fetch quest, but the, uh, uh, for want of a pencil quest. Ooh. Yes, Piccolo will actually be useful coming up soon. And by soon, I mean next week. And as mentioned, we are going to have a slight change of schedule for next week. And uh, next week only. So hopefully see you all then. According to the demon, it seems like a fad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is at least concerned with old age, so she is aging. Whatever that means in this life or death situation. But enough of those musing. Thank you again once everyone... Thank you once again everyone for coming on out. And mm -hmm. until next time, take care. <laughs>